Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another design for a client. It is that time of year, we're quite busy, so I thought I would film this video because this dress is a little bit different. It is a T-length gown, you'll probably have seen that in the thumbnail, and we're going to sketch it up for the factory. Now the dress is half done already because that's how I sketch my designs when I'm face to face with clients. So um, we are just going to be doing some fine tuning, we're going to be dropping in the fabrics and creating basically the order form or the sketch sheet um, or a line sheet some people call it to the factory. Now I do my line sheets very very differently to what other factories do um, because I find that the way I do them is the most accurate for me. Um, I'm not the greatest at line drawings but I am really good at sketching dresses so um, I kind of use that to my advantage and that's how I give my sketches and my designs to the factory. Let's have a look. Okay guys, here is the client's dress. So you'll see that I have sketched the dress out. Um, I do want to redo this chul skirt because it's not showing enough layers. Um, and then I'm going to basically take this into Photoshop and redo all of the text and it's really important for me to do this because the factory sometimes are not great with English so um, when you're making a scribble like you know all of this like what does that really say it says with small petticoat but they're never going to be able to read that sometimes even when you're writing in the clearest of letters it sometimes can be misinterpreted so it's always great to type it out on a, on a keyboard per se all right, so first thing we're going to do is redo this skirt. So I'm going to take all of this other stuff off. Now that that's done, what I want to do is just make this layer a little bit lighter. It's looking very heavy. So I might even be able to use the same one. I'm also going to add a layer. And now I'm going to just do some more layers. Just add another layer on the chul skirt. This will indicate that there are multiple layers. Um, and I actually specified to the client that we should do three layers on the chul skirt. Okay, now that that's done, just wanna have a look at it. See how it's looking quite dark there? Just gonna take the opacity down on that one as well. Should be like that. Okay, that already looks better. That already looks like um, how a chul skirt is supposed to look. So I'm quite happy with that. Now I just want to have a look at the lace. So you can see here that the lace um, bleeds up. This is a sheer bodice, so it's two layers of chul and the lace kind of bleeds up from the bottom. We're also going to put uh, an applique over the top. Now, let me grab that applique because I'd like to draw it over the bust area so that the client can see it. All right. That's the lace, okay. So what I'm going to do is get maybe a chill pen. And what I want to do is mimic this around the bust. Now this should cover the bust, which is this area here. This will be a little bit different in reality when we actually get that lace in there. I had died a thousand deaths and I put myself up from the depths and I, I don't think I need your blessing now. And I'll drop some pieces down the bottom. There we go. So, just kind of added that lace as well. 
Now I also want to indicate some organza flowers. So what I'm going to do is drop this down and drop the opacity down. And if I just kind of... You find me in the Just indicating some um, sheer organza flowers. That's better. And the back will be a lot sheerer, so we're not going to put that applique on the back. It's only just going to be on the front just to cover that bust area because we want to hide any cups that we put on there. There are the organza flowers. Beautiful. Okay, that's looking really good. Great. So what I'm going to do is take off... Okay, so we just want the image just as is. Um, and I'm going to save this so that I can then go in and put all those um, that sketch information all on it. And that information is quite important. Sharing as a PDF. Save image. Now all this information is really important, all the text, because what this does is it tells the factory exactly what I'm wanting. Um, I'll have a couple of measurements in there. Actually, I've got a separate measurement sheet, so sometimes I don't include it here just to save confusion. Um, but you know, all the details, the V neckline, where it actually uh, stops, so mid bust. I've got clear boning on the sides and on the bust, scattered organs of flowers. I've got some um, description of some laces, so I'll be dropping those laces in as well. So I'll take you on to Photoshop and show you what I do there. But I basically just need the sketch on its own so that I can add all the other information. It's so much harder to edit when there's everything all over the place. Okay, so I have opened up the client's um, sketch in Photoshop, so that's what we're in right now. What I'm going to do is pull up the layers. I'm going to add a new layer, and this is where we're going to start uh, dropping in all the information of the dress. I'm just going to grab my text tool. This is really simple. I do like to do all the text first um, before I draw all the lines connecting because sometimes we need to move stuff around. The first thing we're going to type is it's the V neckline and we're going to have to change the text size I think. I don't want to fall for that same old life I think it's time to fly Cause I crashed and burned and broken heart And laid there for a while But now I don't choke when I see smoke It only makes me smile If I need I'm now going to grab these fabrics and just drop them in. Now I'm going to just connect these with some lines. So that is going to be ready for the factory. 
all I have to do is now save this. Well guys, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a little bit of a different one. I just thought I'd take you guys inside what I actually do um, when I put an order in or when I get a dress made from a factory. It's very different to showing someone pretty pictures. You actually got to write some information down. Um, so after this process, so what happens now is once I save that sketch, I send it to the client to get it approved and once she approves it then I send it to the factory and um, then the factory will come back and confirm if they've got any questions, if they've got all the fabrics, if everything's right to go and then the dress will be made. Um, and this process normally takes around about six weeks so once um, the gown is ready it will be shipped and then we'll ask the client to come in for a fitting. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a different one. So please let me know in the comments below if you liked this video, if you want to see more videos like this, or if you prefer see something else. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you enjoy videos like this. Make sure to hit the notification bell as well so you are notified when I upload a new video. I should be uploading quite regularly these days, one, one video a week, maybe two if I get a chance, depending on how busy I get with my gowns. So I hope to see you in the next video and I'll see you later. Bye. Fly. Cause I crashed and burned and broken heart And laid there for a while But now I don't choke when I see smoke It only makes me smile